Well, today I'm going to continue on with talking about some basic things. I chose um, cooking because eating is basic. Eating and drinking and also going to the bathroom. You got it going in and you got it coming out, right? I mean, those are human functions. We're all humans. We all have these functions going on. So I want to start off by showing you my stove and I'm going to make us a cup of coffee, okay? Now, the stove is a butane and a propane stove. It's called a dual stove. It used to keep about 14 cans of butane at a time. I may let it run down to about 12 and then I go out and I search for it because I don't want to run out of it. It's so much easier to use than, the, uh, than propane with the type of stove that I use. There's all different kinds of stoves you can use. Um, just look on Amazon and look for can stoves. I've had a couple different kinds. One thing I do want to mention is do not be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to use it inside of your van. As you can see, I'm so comfortable with it after seven years. I will mention I was afraid of it the first time I turned it on. I mean, it was pretty scary. So don't be afraid of it. Get used to it. Now, <laughs> when you push the lever down and then you turn the dial to on, first you push the lever down to engage the butane. Then you turn it to the left to turn it on. You want to turn it all the way until it clicks. That's an igniter. It's got an igniter inside. It's it's already comes with that. You don't have to get out a match or a lighter. And the reason I mention this is because I did have a comment once that she says, thank you for showing this to me. All this time I have been lighting it with a match, you know? Yeah, use what you can. I mean, it's not horrible to use a match with it, but why not use it as it was intended? It's easier, right? And then we end up with a really good cup of coffee. So here you go, here's your coffee. Cheers. I think that brand that I made it with is my, it's maple pecan, it's Starbucks. I think that's my favorite now, I really like it. It's got such a good flavor to it. Now you don't wanna just make coffee. You don't have to do that. You know, in most cases, that's the only reason I use my stove is to make coffee in the morning. And I do it in the morning. But you can also make, uh, you can fry something. You can make soup. You can cook inside of here. Now, I don't like to do a lot of cooking. You all know that. Because this is a little space. I don't want, yeah, I just don't want there to do dishes in here. But I suggest that you get a small skillet. Small. Yeah. This fits on my stove just wonderfully. And you know what I can do with this is easy to make, is get yourself some some uh, corn tortillas, they're about this size, put a little bit of olive oil and uh, heat up that and fry that corn tortilla or a small flour tortilla, sprinkle some cheese on it, put a little salsa on it if you have salsa, whatever. Um, and. Yeah, you've got your really nice uh, tostada. Very nice. Or you can cook a couple of eggs. I keep mine in a plastic bag. Yeah. This I got on Amazon. Then this is the only other really cooking utensil I have of, to make something. I have a pot. I bought this at Target. With a lid. It's lightweight non-stick, and I have myself a steamer basket. It's right in here. <laughs> I always have alarms going off, don't I? Yeah, and so what I do, I kind of put this upside down. I have a nice bag for this. Here we go. And I keep it in a bin. I haven't used either of these for a while. Because, like I said, I usually use my stove for coffee. And we'll get into more food. I've talked recently about food, so um, I'm not going to bring that up again. Maybe down the road in a couple of weeks, I'll talk about food again. 
Okay, so next I want to talk about going to the bathroom. The bathroom. I want to talk about this. Maybe I can give a little bit more insight to this. Because I want to talk about in a minivan and also in a high top. One that you can stand up in. And that goes for RVs too because like I mentioned before. Not every person that has an RV that has a toilet in it with a shower um, in this little room. Um, it's like the little bathroom, but it's very small. They don't use the bathroom because they don't want to dump the black water. You have to dump it. Sometimes they leak. They, You know, it's so much easier just to use a bucket. It really is. Okay, so I've got my toilet seat. There was a lid on here, but I ripped it off. I just pulled it off because I don't need it. It's just extra weight, okay? This is my bucket. I bought this at Home Depot. I want you to, I want to um, make it clear on what the features of this bucket is. It's very heavy duty. There was a, uh, an apparatus on here that you could um, ring out a mop, because this is for like mopping. Let me take the bag out. Just this is, I put the bag in here. Let me take this out. It has this. I'm not overly happy with that, but that's okay. But if you notice about this, I knew that light was going to go out. I just knew it. If you, about this is that it's, it's flat down. It doesn't go like this so that there's a, a, a smaller base that it just tips over. You need to consider that. I bought one one time and I was experienced. So I know other people are going to do the same thing. They're going to do something like that. So if you notice, yes, it has a really wide base. So it's not going to tip over while I'm driving. Okay. Now, also another feature to this bucket, this is the kind of bucket size for a minivan, okay? Seriously. If you get a five-gallon bucket, what, what gallons? This is, um, this is 14 quarts. If you get a five-gallon bucket that a lot of people use, those five-gallon buckets, that you can get a luggable loo that fits on here. I think this is one that I took. It fits right on top of the five gallon bucket and then you pull out the lid and it really does keep most of the odor inside that way you can use it over and over you don't have to dump your bag every day but here's the issue in a minivan or an suv they're just too big i don't need something that big i, I dump my my bag every single morning i'm in the city and i dump it every single morning okay if you're out boondocking, you can maybe leave it in here for, you want to put it outside, I would imagine. But if it's in the spring, you're going to attract flies. So if you want to do it that way, let me jump ahead. You want to get a gamma lid. Get a gamma lid, okay? And that way, it, when nothing comes out. And then you can use this bucket. That's what I did when I was boondocking. I would use my bucket, but I would take the bag out put it into my five gallon bucket with the gamma lid and then put it off maybe away from my van. Then when um, the um, the, tra the refuse place opened up, I would drive it there when it got kind of full. But for my everyday use in my minivan, this is the only size I use because it's just too tall. It's just too big. It just, it's just in my face. I don't, I don't like that. So normally, so I'll have my, my baggie in, right? And then when you have to go to the bathroom, number two, there you go. I mean, it's perfect size for me. It puts my knees up a little bit, which is sort of like, um, it, it's just better that way for the body for things to descend. A regular toilet's a little high for me. It always has been, and it makes it a little bit tougher for us short people to properly let things descend out of our intestines. And I mention this because this is just, this is medical, this is science. This is staying healthy as a human being. 
of cleaning out what goes in must come out, right? I'm not afraid to talk about it. I was a nurse's aide before. My daughter is a nurse practitioner. I was a mother. I've changed diapers. I've had to clean up people. I worked in a nursing home once, so believe me. I know how important it is to be aware, to talk about, and be informed about the human body, the intestines, and pooping, <laughs> right? Okay, so this is basically where I would be if I go to the bathroom. It's very comfortable. I can be on my phone, right? I can be on my phone and wait for everything to finish off. I use my wipes. I take this off. Of course, my bag would, would have normally been in here. And then I take my, my bag is in here. I, I kind of take it off and I tie it up. And then I wait to go out of my van and go put it in a, a garbage receptacle. Pretty easy peasy actually, right? And if people who, who are living in their RVs, a class C's, whatever, they're using that system too, I guarantee you. Now let's talk about, well, let me finish up with one more thing about the pooping. Number two, let's have a sip. I have friends, good friends, that don't normally use a bucket at all and barely use a, a pee bottle. When they get up in the morning, it doesn't matter whether they're boondocking or not. It doesn't matter. They get up at a certain time. They know the right time. They get up and they head into town. They have a special place that they go, whether it be a gas station or a restaurant or McDonald's or whatever. But that's what they do. Their body has been trained to hold everything in until they get there. That's what they like. Now they do. I know that all of my friends carry the bucket system with bags just in case i mean you know just in case what if you what if you get sick and you're gonna vomit right what if you're what if you have diarrhea and you have to go to the bathroom a lot in the middle of the night yeah so they do carry it but they rarely use it so i want to mention that too just because you have a bucket doesn't mean you need to use it all the time it's a really good thing to have i use mine every day every time i need to use it i use it now you need to have a pee bottle Men can have a smaller opening, I mean, for obvious reasons, right? But we women, we need to use a pee bottle. It's a wide mouth. What I do is I just hover over this and pee. When I pee, I pee. Um, I have good knees and I can do that. I like this bottle. I bought this bottle, it came in a two pack. I like it because it's got the handle here, okay? And when I close this, it really does close. You can find bottles like this at Dollar Tree. No problem. Also at Walmart, they have some of these. I, sometimes they're hard to find, but it's around this size. I found, especially at Dollar Tree, if you turn upside down, water leaks out. I don't like that. So I bought these on Amazon. Now I also have this. Now it's coming Easter. I could probably get another one. It's a little Easter basket thing. And I took the handle off, right? I took that little thing that you hold it. But I like this to fit in here. Then I put it in there. I, I, I like that better. I just really do. I need to wash this out every once in a while. And I just like it like that. That's what I use. So there is your pee and poop system. I know. I'm, I'm pretty blatant. But I don't, I, don't, I don't beat around the bush. You know, I'm not pretentious. I'm real. <laughs> like you say, I'm real. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't um, kind of dance around subjects. If they need to be talked about, then let's talk about them. But here's what I do. I have the, my bucket. I kind of open this up a little bit, but usually it's tighter. So it looks nice. And then this fits in here. This fits in here. And this goes on my front seat if I'm back here. Now, when I go to drive, I just put it back here in this back living area. I just, it goes back and forth so that I don't have to look at it. But this is my bathroom system. This is my little teeny weeny little bathroom, okay? So we got the cooking and we've got the bathroom stuff and I made you coffee. And that's, 
your lesson for the day. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers to learning the basics. These are basic things that you're going to need if you're living in a vehicle. It could be a minivan. It could be an SUV. It could be a sedan. But I guarantee you that if you're living in a high top or an RV, anything bigger than, an, and than a minivan, you're probably going to be using a five gallon bucket. And you can get them at Home Depot. You can get them, I think, Walmart. But you need to get, I would either get the Luggable Lou with the, with the lid on here that fits on and it's snug and it snaps in place. And that way, when you put the lid down, the official Luggable Lou. This is not really a Luggable Lou. This is just a toilet seat. The Luggable Lou, when you put it in and it snaps in, then you put the, you put the lid down it's secure so that odor does not come out. So you need to look for it. It's called Luggabaloo. Okay? Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I know you did. I know you did. Um, tomorrow, we'll pick another subject. I don't know what it's going to be. But please go on minivanlead.com if you want to give me a gift. Um, and it just helps support me. And I've got neck gaiters and I've got sunglasses and things like that on there and subscribe. I've just recently noticed I've lost some subscribers. I think Google is at it again. Please look um, below and make sure that you're subscribed. If they unsubscribed you, please hit that button again. It really does help me. Okay. Okay. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.